Hello everybody, this is Steve here. Today we are going through elliptical problem 1282. Group the people given the group size they belong to. Before we dive in, this, uh, if you are new to the channel, this channel is to go through elliptical problems and to help people uh, brush up on data structures and algorithms to better prepare and ace through coding interviews. With that said, do me a favor, just hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe, our ch to subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell notification so that each time when we publish new videos, you'll get notification immediately. Okay, now let's take a look, dive deep into this problem. Um, group the people given the group size they belong to. Let's read through the problem description together. There are n people whose IDs go from 0 to n minus 1 and each person belongs exactly to one group. So given the group array, group sizes of length n, telling the group size each person belongs to, what does that mean? So we are given, so a look on the right side of this uh, screen, we have an API signature, which um, the input is just a one parameter, um, an array of integers, group sizes. What does that mean? That means given an array group sizes of length and telling the group size that each person belongs to. So we're going to get n, um, n elements, n integers in this array. And every single, every single integer means one person. They are indexed from 0 to n minus 1, as this one, as the very first sentence of this problem indicates, whose IDs from, are from 0 to minus 1. That's what it means. It's a little bit confusing to under to, to understand this problem, because this problem description is really, really concise. Uh, <laughs> there is no any uh, verbose description. I wish it could be more um, expl um, explanatory. Um, so it's asking us to return the groups there are, and the people's ID each group includes. If you don't understand what it means, um, as the same to me when I first read read the, uh, the when I first read the problem description, I went went through that twice. The second time, okay, with the help of the examples, I kind of understand what it means. Okay, let's take a look at the example one. There we are given this array um, called group sizes with three 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 one three. What does this exactly mean? It means we are given an array of seven elements. Each element indicates one person's group size. And every single, so this one will start uh, from the very beginning. Zero, one, no, look, look, just think about the index of this array first. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are seven elements indexed from zero to six. So these, we just think about them as there are seven people standing in a queue people indexed at a, a per, the person indexed at zero that this person belongs to a group with size three that's what it means so you see in the output it says the uh, zero index is assigned to a group with size three zero one two there are three uh, people in this group so its size is three so the, the same applies to every single element in this array, which means the person at index 1 belongs to a group of size 3. This is here. And the same applies to the rest of the array. So, so the last one, the person at index 5 belongs to a group of 1, only 1. So this person at index 5 belongs to a group of size 1. That's why in the output here, you see only 1 is in the one in the size of one group and the rest of the elements um which in this in this context is all indices these indices are all in what in groups of size three that's why uh, that's because all of their on um, all of the the rest of the um, original input array is all three that's what it means this is it's um, actually one of the solutions. The other possible solutions are here, for example. As long as you keep five as one group that is of its only, only of its um, only of itself, which means its size, um, it has size one. And for the rest of the elements from zero, one, two, three, four, up to six, excluding five, 
you can put them in any random order. That's fine. They're all valid answers. As long as you re return any one of them, that's fine. I hope that helps a little bit to understand uh, this question. Um, then let's look at example two. Well, given um, example two is going to help us further understand this question. We have we're given this array two one three 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 two, which means based on our previous understanding. So this means the person at index zero at index zero belongs to a group of size two. So that's why zero ended up here, right? So this uh, this solution set is actually the unique solution set. There is no other solution. It's unlike example one. Excuse me. And then we see here the person at index one belongs to a group of size one. That's why one is here, right? And then we have um, the person at index two and three and four. Two, three, and four. They belong to a group of size three. That's why all of them are here. And the last one, the person at index 5 belongs to a group of 2. So it ended up with the person at index 0 to form a group of 2. So that's the entire problem. So um, after we go through the problem, we can think about the solution. The solution is pretty straightforward. We'll just use a hash map. How do we use the hash map? It's going to be the key of the hash map is just uh, the size of the group. So here, three is going to be the key, and three is going to be the key. Three is going to be key. all of the three is going to be the key, and so since hash map, um, the keys must be distinct in this entire hash map. So, um, given this example one, the the size of the hash map after we build through, uh, after we go through this array, and after we construct the hash map, the size of the hash map, for example one, is going to be of size two, right? Because there are only two distinct keys. And how about the values? The values is are going to be simple as well, which is going to be a, a list of integers. The list, the elements of the list of the integers are going to be the indices, right? Okay, let's just uh, uh okay, write it down so that uh, you can have a better understanding of what I'm talking about about the algorithm. So, say here, this is the input. Did I miss one? Oh, okay, yeah, I missed three. So this is the input, and the hash map is going to be, the key is going to be 3, and then the value is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. And then also, the second key is going to be 1, and value is going to be 5. That's the hash map. After we go through this after we go through this array, we construct such a hash map. After we construct such a hash map, how do we um, form the final result, which is going to be very intuitive. How do we do that? So we're just a build in, uh, we can just uh, cut, we can just partition the, the list as the value of the hash map. The, um, what's the size of the partition? It's, going, it's just going to be the size of the group, right? See, um, here, the size is 3, we'll just use the key. Key is actually the partition size, which is the size of the group. We'll just use the key to partition. So, say 3, we're going to have 3, 0, 1, 2. These three elements will be our first, will be our first uh, three elements. That go that's going to end up in the first uh, list. And then the second, 3, 4, 6, these three elements are going to end up in the second list, um, in, in the second list, which is going to be added into the um, into the final result. Very straightforward, right? Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, if that does, then let's start coding. So here, uh, what are we going to do? So we'll have a hash map. As I said, we'll use a hash map. The key is just the size of the group. And then the value is going to be a list. Um, this list uh, contains all of the indices of this given um, of this given array, which means um, all of the people with such indices they belong to the same sized group. All right, that's what it means. New hash map for simplicity. I'm just going to call this one. Change the variable parameter name to be a. It's it's not a good practice, but just for simplicity to save some typing time. Then we'll go through 
uh, step user for loop to go through this array a length i plus plus and then uh, we'll use a we'll get or default this list map get or default uh, here as i said the key is the size of the group which is ai and then uh, if this is the first time we get it we'll just return a new array list that's it and then list what we're going to do is actually to add the index right starting from zero up until n minus one that's it and then we put it back into this map that's it we built this hash map um, the, after this for loop, we will have this hash map as in the comment as I just went through the algorithm. And now uh, we'll have to, we have this map in memory already. Then how do we form the final result? As I said, we can just use, um, we can just partition the, uh, after when we go through, we'll just go through this hash map, map key set. I don't recall exactly if it's lowercase or uppercase. We will let compiler <laughs> to tell us. Um, and then we'll have a final result. New array list. Um, so here we'll use i as the index. So the size of the um, in the list that we're about to add as into the final result must be of size key, right? So what we're going to do is have a while loop while while what while i plus okay so let's do this so uh, what we'll do is add add it okay we'll get we'll get the array list first let me copy this and uh, we'll get list from map get here we'll get so for example looking at this comment well the key right now is three we'll get this list we'll get this list out and then we add that list we do a list in java list um, interface it has such an api which comes in super handy sub list i and i plus key it takes this api takes two parameters one is the start index the second one is the um, end index so i from i in this case is zero zero to three zero is inclusive three is exclusive so that that's perfect that's exactly the size that we want and then i will um, keep incrementing it by the size of key and we'll keep doing this until we finish until we reach the end of this list remember the list here we're talking about in this for loop is this list zero one two three four four six right so here until we reach a point to here i plus key is smaller than or all equal to a list size at this point we will just break up which means we finished going through this entire list that's it and then we'll just return result as simple as that uh, let me double check if there is anything missing before we hit submit uh, I think that's it. Let's hit submit and see. Judging. I might get compiled error. Oh, okay. It's accepted. Uh, very amazing. Faster than 100%. And also in terms of both um, space and time complexity. Uh, yeah, again, I don't know how accurate that is, but it's good to learn. Uh, that's the entire algorithm of this um, problem. I wrote it in Java, so it's kind of verbose. Of course, you can simplify it using other languages or just uh, combine several lines or use stream or lambda for here. But the, the idea is like this. Uh, if you like this tutorial or if you learned something, please give me, do me a favor and hit the like button. I'm going to appreciate it a lot. And don't forget to sub subscribe to my channel.